Welcome back to Mornings with Luann and Tim. So, from Young Drivers Canada at Maitland Ford, right? Right. Uh, this is Morgan, and that's Mike. Mike and I went to high school together. How do you like that, eh? A couple of years ago. Mike, Mike Babcock? But it's not the one from the Toronto Maple Leafs, right? Uh, well, we're, we're, is we're it? wondering. Okay, yes. all right. I'm the good one. Yeah, yeah okay. Uh, you, Morgan, how long have you been with Young Drivers now? I've been with them about 18 months now. Oh, you're new. I am a newbie. How about you? I originally started back in 2002. Oh, okay. Yeah. How long has it been around, Young Drivers? It's been over uh, close to 50 years now. Really? Yeah. Oh, you were telling me the story about the, the gentleman, that, is it Peter? Peter Christensen. So tell me that story. Oh, Peter, uh, when he was very young, he, uh, he lost uh, both his parents. In a uh, car accident? His father was killed instantly in his car crash, yes. Oh, dear. And uh, he, uh, he just developed, a, he had a fear of driving. Mm -hmm. So he uh, he hated driving on the roads, but he would race competitively at Mossport, uh, Watkins Glen. And That's crazy. Uh, yeah. Why do you think he was comfortable driving speed races, but not driving on a road just because of the trauma of his parents dying? Or I, I think dying? more that uh, the control, you know, the uh, the safety that he could have control over the situation. He was driving with other people who were also experienced trained. and trained. So, he, so if he could train the drivers on everyday roads, he'd feel more confident he felt about more being able to... What a, that's smart. And then he lost, uh, in high school, I think he said he lost five of his friends. Oh my gosh. Uh, Head-on collisions, uh, gravel shoulder recovery's gone bad. Oh uh, no. Bad so strategic, like driving techniques and strategic driving. I remember, I'll always remember, because I did a, tra a training course as well, um, partly because it was going to reduce my insurance rates. Is that still the case? Yes. Yep. With, you, with, with many companies it is. Yeah. Yes. Uh, so, uh, uh, but it was, and also to pass the test. But you guys are always saying that when you take, when you go to take your, your training course, it really isn't just about giving pe yeah, people the, enough information to pass the test. This is about mm -hmm. keeping them safe for a lifetime, right? Right. I could, uh, give me $50 and I could show you how to pass the test. That's not, that's not what, that's part of this, but it's not what it's all about. The, the intent of the program is to teach people to, to drive collision free for their life. For their lives. The rest of their lives. Wow. Uh, not just get a license and go out on the road. So things like, I'll always remember certain things like um, turning into, if you're spinning out, turning into the... Into a skid. Into, into the skid, skid, turning into the skid. Now, not so much pumping the brakes, but I remember that one about when you were hitting a, like a patch, because now a lot of cars do it for you. Now, yeah, <laughs> now you... Yes, well, yeah. practically... Does it? Or does the yeah, brake pump that, thing? Yeah. But yeah. there were, I mean, there were definitely a lot of things that stuck with me, and that's forty years ago that that's I took good. the course. Yes, that's good. So, what do you think? Um, first of all, the majority of people you get through the doors at Young Drivers are they sixteen-year-olds, or is there an age range that, or sort of, uh, is the your most most of your clients? It's it, it split. It used to be uh, novice drivers, you know, just had turned sixteen, were out to get their their G. G2 license, right. but now we have uh, quite an influx of international students in the city, right? And most of them are eager to get their uh, Ontario driver's license as well. Sure. Yeah. And so they've got to learn the rules of the road in our in our country, right? Yeah, definitely. And definitely. The side of the road. The side <laughs> of the road. Are you talking about emergency situations or what? No, no. just the side of the road that they're used to driving. Oh, the side of the, oh yes. <laughs> <laughs> Rather than driving on the other side like yes. they do in Great Britain or whatever other countries, yeah. yes. right? Yeah. Yeah. The, uh, even the Barbados, I think they drive on the left-hand yeah. side. Well, don't we they? have a lot of people from uh, a lot of students from India. Yes, and that's what, what side do they drive on in India? On the left-hand side. I did not know that. Yes. I bet they're really good at parallel parking on one-way streets on the left-hand side. Excellent, excellent. Because <laughs> that's one thing you parking. I'm very good at parallel parking. Great. Because I always remember line your back bumper up. Turn until the wheel, till your steering wheel matches the back bumper, and then start to straighten out. Do you still teach that way? There's <laughs> there's a couple of different ways, different <laughs> variations, but that's that's yeah. certainly one of them. Yeah. Yeah. Does parallel parking still freak most drivers out? Is that one thing that gets people going? I don't want this is hard. It is until they try yeah. it. Yeah, yeah. It's twenty six percent easier than you think. So. It's what twenty six percent easier than you think. How do you ever figure that out? <laughs> or is he just being yeah. funny? No, actually, the, uh, a three-point turn is more difficult than a parallel park. Mm. I can do a three-point turn. I'm a good driver, but I, I brake too hard. Tell me about that. Tell me about braking. Braking, you have to be very concerned. There's a number of reasons. First off, most collisions occur 
are rear end collisions. Falling too close? Falling too close Breaking or too late. not fast and uh, not stopping fast enough. Not paying attention. Not, yeah, paying, not attention. paying attention. Not paying attention. Distracted driving. Not giving yourself enough time to slow down if there's an emergency situation. So you're driving along a wet pavement, it's more slippery, you hit a patch of ice. So yeah. braking early and smoothly is very important. Plus it saves money on your brake pads. That's what I'm told yeah. all the time, that I'm too hard on my brakes because my brake pads wear out quickly. Yes. All the time. Saves money on your uh, uh, gasoline. Is there a new, is there a new, somebody told me there was a new law, tell me if this is true, that now if there's a pedestrian on the crosswalk, you can't go through the crosswalk until they've reached the other side of the street. Do you know if that's true? If there are lights. <gasps> they, they call it a pedestrian crossover. So if there are lights, I can't make my right hand turn until that person's out of the crosswalk? Correct. Same, I guess, well, left hand turn doesn't make any sense. Oh, mm -hmm. one, one way, well, one yeah. way, it could sure. be, yeah. yeah. Wow, when did that happen? Uh, beginning of the year. See, that's, and that's what, I did have one rear end collision. Mm -hmm. It was in Toronto, and it was because I didn't realize that somebody was crossing an intersection because the car ahead of me, and I just assumed he was gonna make his turn because I couldn't see the pedestrian. Mm -hmm. And he started to make his turn and then braked, and I thought he was gonna continue, and I hit the back of him because he was braking for a pedestrian right. who was in the intersection. Yes. So this makes total, total sense. And we have to be aware now here in the zoo because we are getting pedestrian crossovers. Crossovers. Crosswalks. Cro you know, yes. I mean, without lights. Without, with, well, probably with lights. Probably with lights. With like the, the flashing ones that say when you push the button, it's going to go dope. Oh, yeah. Are we getting one of those? Down by the splash pad. Yes. Down by the splash pad. Definitely. We have those in Toronto. Yes. You push the pedestrian, pushes the button, lights go, and then you have to stop. Yes. Are we getting that? I, I'm oh, oh boy, that's going to throw people for a loop in this city. It Tell is, me. Oh my. on Queen Street. Okay, guys, do you think that we don't have a lot of great drivers in Sault Ste. Marie, or, do, like, or what? Tell me the truth. What do, you, do we have good drivers? Are we standard? What? Uh, we have a lot of great drivers in the city, and they don't get enough credit because they're overshadowed by the ones that aren't great drivers. Okay. Yeah, they kind of paint us all in a bad light. Yes. Did you say this is Young Drivers Week? Young Drivers Week. It's yeah. Young Drivers yes. Week, and it's also the month is a Car Safety Month. Yes. What, okay, so now you also, when you, look, I'm sorry, I'm pointing at you. When students come to you, you don't just teach on the road, you also teach about car safety. We talk about car safety. Can you tell me a little bit about that? About for me, for instance, what I need to know about car safety, what you teach about the, the, the circle check, all that stuff? We, we teach a uh, process called the, the circle check where you walk around your vehicle quickly mm -hmm. to make sure that everything is in good work and order. This is something that we should all do. Sure. Make sure you have four tires and that they're round. <laughs> Make sure nobody sold your license plate, but also look for things damaged that wasn't there before. Okay. Make sure your min windows are clear. Make sure your mirrors are clear. Look for fluid under the front end of the car. Oh, because that's not good. A if fluid under you've got a your puddle car, under there, you're in sure. trouble. You don't know what it is. It could be water. Yeah. But it also could be transmission fluid. <gasps> could be oil. It could oh, be brake fluid. That's terrible. It, it is. I mean, you start driving, you could be in a serious condition. You know, you, with your what car. about things like your signals and stuff? How often should we check our signals and, and lights and stuff? Most vehicles you'll know because if you turn on your turn signal, one will stop working. Uh, right. Well, a lot of vehicles nowadays, to the newer vehicles, they will provide Alert some you. kind of indication yeah. on your dash. But don't rely on that. It, it doesn't hurt to get out and check your lights. But you also teach how to change tires too. See, that's something people, I, you see people oftentimes stranded on the side of the road who have no clue how to work a jack. Sure. Well, e even before you get to hoping you can change the tire. A lot of new vehicles don't even come with spare tires anymore. They what? No. Ooh. So knowing where your spare is, knowing yeah. where the jack is, they're not always together yeah. anymore. There, right. there, there may be uh, an air compressor in the slot where the spare tire normally goes. And oh. if, if your tire lost air, you could pump it up. But if you damage the tire, that won't do you much good. Wow. But yeah. So check, check sure. that before you go. Well, we'll teach them what to do if you're driving down the road and your hood flies up. We'll oh, teach oh. Them what if you're what if uh, you're driving along and a bat flies into your window? We actually have a lot of fun with that, the bee bird bat attack. Really? What do you do? Mm. Oh, um, well, I don't know. Yeah, what do you do if your brakes Call fail? Transylvania and see if you have to alert the next of kin. I don't know why. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, we actually have a, a bat inside the car that we, oh. we demonstrate. Okay. Not a real one, of course. No, we goodness. couldn't get one to fly in. Okay, question then. This time of the year, we're heading into winter. What do we need to do? To get ready for car safety. Mainly, most importantly, winter tires. I'm winter doing tires. that on Saturday. Good. Great. Getting my Great. winter tires put on on Saturday. Win winter tires will increase your stopping distance by 40% okay. over all seasons. All right. Okay. Decrease. So it's De right? De decrease. 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 Okay, yeah. <laughs> 
it'll make us stop. I'll stop forty percent. It's more efficient. More yeah. efficient. Okay. They're designed for this for this yeah. type of weather. Okay. Um, also, make sure all your uh, your fluid levels. You're better off to take it in. Take and it, have it in and service. get it tuned up. Yeah. 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 For, for Maitland Ford does that, don't they? They do a great job. <laughs> They do agree. They yeah. have a special right now. Do they? They do. For winter tune-ups? For winter tune-ups, mm -hmm. yeah. So let them, let the professionals do it. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah. Uh, another factor, too, that um, some people don't consider is in the summertime, they will use uh, windshield washer fluid to get the bugs off the windshield, but they're not good below freezing. For, below, like, yeah, my, right. you, you got to get the stuff that's good to minus sure. 40. Yeah, and, yes. and I think Maitland's just uses minus 40. Uh, wash your fluid all year round, all year so there round. is, so, so you don't have to run into that you problem right. in the fall when the bottle. And your open. oil, do you need to do something? I think do they use a different oil in the wintertime or no? Not anymore. Same oil, no, not they, anymore. No, they okay. Can run. Most of them are semi-synthetic oil. What are you guys gonna do when you have self-driving cars? <laughs> They'll never get to that point. You won't need somebody behind the wheel. That's that's like somebody licensed. paying attention. Absolutely. I, I can sit yeah. in the back seat when I'm instructing. <laughs> yeah, so. that's right. Take a uh, take a train. Uh, how do we re get get a hold of you guys if we want to register to sign up for a course? We are online. Are you Young We're Drivers Canada? Canada? We are. Facebook. Um, seven five nine forty five forty five. That's the phone number. That's the seven five nine forty five forty five. That's easy. Yeah, we're at eleven twenty four Great Northern Road. Ta da! Uh, at the the back building behind where mm -hmm. the used car building is. There's, okay. That's the YD office and classroom as well. How yeah. many instructors are you? Do you know how many you've got? I'm one. <laughs> one. Are you one? Yeah. Mike is smart. Yeah. Uh, so you have six guys on six, six people. Seven. I didn't say guys. Six yeah, people. Yeah, we on have Elliot Lake as well. Do you? Yes. yes. So Good we'll to know. Between here and Elliot Lake. That's our time, guys. I could have talked to you a lot longer. Yes. Maybe you should come back on the show again. Anytime. Okay. Okay. okay let's do that. Let's do. Okay. Let's do a drivers update and stuff. Mm. Okay. So these are the guys from Young Drivers Canada. You can get in touch with them and uh, get your cars ready and tuned up for the winter. Stay safe out there. And if you have any questions, they have the answers. Thanks for being here. Thanks, we'll be back You're a little bit after this. Mm.